Lemanberg Civil War is a conflict on the Dream SMP between the two competing governments of the country of Manberg, or Lemanberg, however you want to say it, between the governments of Wilbur Soot and Tommy Innit, and the current governments of Jay Schley and Quackity and George Not Found. There is also a significant group of Dream SMP members who are fighting both sides. This is like the fifth video I've made on the Dream SMP, so I guess I'm a Minecraft YouTuber now, which is, which is interesting, which is pretty pog, but before we start this video, if you want to just hit that subscribe button, you know, I'm almost at 300 subscribers, so that's actually pretty nice. Anyways, let's get into the content, shall we? As the belligerents now stand, there are three groups, the Pogtopia group, which consists of the old government of Lemanberg. Members of this group consist, but are not limited to, Wilbur Soot, Tommy Innit, Tubbo, Technoblade, Dream, Nicky Nianchu, Eret, Fundy, and help from H-Bomb. The Manberg group, who consists of the current government of the country of Manberg. This group consists of Jay Schlatt, Quackity, George Not Found, and Ponk. And the Dream SMP BBH, or Bad Boy Halo Group, who consist of some of the members of the Dream Team who want to take over both countries. This group consists of Bad Boy Halo, Skeppy, Sapnap, Carl Jacobs, and Ant Frost. After Wilbur and Tommy escaped from Manberg, they created a new country called Pogtopia. Wilbur and Tommy then invited the SMP Live and SMP Earth veteran, Technoblade, to join the server. Technoblade joining the server had two goals to have lots and lots of violence and anarchy, and lots and lots of potatoes. Yes, potatoes. Yes, he did a couple videos about potatoes. Yes, he loves potatoes. I have no idea why, he just loves potatoes. I, 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 I honestly don't know what's wrong with him, but he just loves potatoes. Yeah, uh, we've been working hard on the burn. I'm actually a little hungry, so this is, this is good. Yeah, oh, okay, yeah, this is good. This is good, this is, this is uh, uh, bigger than I was expecting, but you know. I've seen what oh, you can yeah. do, Technoblade. Oh, okay. How long have you been on this? How long have you spent here? <laughs> uh, I haven't logged off. Wait, you... You haven't logged off the server for Yeah, I've, I've, I've just I've just been here. Well, that's like... That's like... 14 hours, Technoblade. <laughs> Revolution waits for no man. I, I respect... Something we haven't addressed is the prevalence of the third party in the Civil War, led by Bad Boy Halo, Skeppy of the Muffin Squad. Both of them had been slowly plotting in the background, not really getting involved in any wars except a minor role by Skeppy in the Pet War. This is when the Muffin Squad had received one of Tommy's music discs by Dream. This had given them leverage over the Pogtopia faction, and they said that they would threaten to burn the disc if ever the faction got out of line. Ben, and join and fight against Tommy. Or we can join the memers who currently hold Manberg. Or we inform our own faction. And we can rebel against both of them. And we can well, fan the flames I'm of discourse no, I'm and chaos. To make our own, <laughs> but we're really gonna have to try hard. Well, so here's the idea, Skeppy. We currently hold the disc of power. We do. Right? We do. This so is our leverage. This is our leverage against Tommy. We're basically untouchable from them, right? They After these big brain plans for the Muffin Squad, Technoblade and Tommy in it decided to take people hostage to use them for slave labor. Kind of good any flashbacks from 2B2T in a certain FinMC video. For the first time in 2B2T history, Slave labor was used. They needed people to mine cobblestone to build their new tower called the Intimidation Tower. They started this project by kidnapping Ant Frost and forcing him to mine for them. No one gets hurt, right? No one gets hurt. Get in there, please. Yeah. Get in there. This is going to be your new home. How do you like it? Wait, 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 wait. We just need a, a certain amount of cobblestone. What the fuck did you just do to him? You can't. What, what the, the hell? hell? And then they kidnapped Tubbo, who became his alter ego, Subbo, and became a sobbing mess because he was being kidnapped into slave labor. Yeah, yeah now he's in, he's in sad Ubbo. Subbo. 
Oh, okay. Are you Subbo, right? Subbo. Subbo. Are you sad, Subbo? Twitch Subbo. Maybe he's just... Oh, maybe he just has lung problems. It would make... The fumes are pretty bad down here. Yeah. Mines! <laughs> okay. Uh, Mubo. Yeah, that's... But yeah, we'll keep him in. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Right, You're on. doing good on your first first day of Manny on the job, and we'll, we'll be... We'll... This way. This way, Tanner. This way. This would end with both of them being killed by Technoblade with his axe of peace because they both felt bad for the slave labor. When respawned, Tubbo forgot all about the slave labor. Oh yes, just a normal day in the Dremesen Peace. Child slave labor and kidnapping. Henry, the beloved cow of Tommy Innit, was just one day chilling, you know, eating some grass, thinking about Tommy Innit, when he was kidnapped by Sapnap. Sapnap had kidnapped him in an effort to try to get leverage over Tommy Innit. However, in his effort to run away, he accidentally yeeted the cow over a cliff, killing the cow instantly. For Henry on stream. S stop. Yes. Yes, Henry. Let's go, Henry. Let's go. Go on, Henry. Jump. Oh! What? What happened? <sighs> this enraged Tommy in it, who then proceeded to grief the Eiffel Tower, a building built for Carl and Sapnap's honeymoon by using a lava cast with the assistance of Nikki. Skeppy and Bad Boy Halo then proceeded to attack the group, taking Nikki hostage, and Sapnap then proceeded to taunt Tommy in it by eating the remains of Henry in front of him. Dream, having joined on Tommy's side, then gave Mars Sapnap's fish to Tommy for blackmail and leverage over the Dream SMP group. Negotiations between the two groups soon broke down. The Battle of the Lake was the first significant fight between the Bad Boy Halo group, also known as the Third Party, and Tommy's group. This battle is called the Battle of the Lake after a name given by Tommy in it. However, Techno criticized this action, calling it the Battle of the Tower. The Battle of the Lake. It, there's like literally a tower right there, and you thought this was this naturally <laughs> generated place. The most significant landmark. We are like touching this tower. No, no, no. Yeah, fine, fine. The Battle of the... The people on each side were as follows. Techno, Tommy, Dream, Puns versus Sapnap. Skeppy, Bad Boy Halo, and Antfrost. After negotiations broke down, the two decided to fight. Sapnap's in a hole. You know if you kill me, I'll respawn over that, right? Okay. And now I'm back! Fighting Skeppy and Tommy, get the, get, the stuff, get the stuff, get the stuff. He'd be just still alive, by the way, I'm fighting. He Minecraft Championships vibes. Holy shit! Fun. And now... The Battle of the Tower, or the Battle of the Lake, whichever you prefer, was won by the Pogtopia faction. And then this would be the end of the major significant battle for this period of the Civil War. A little while later, Wilbur Soot went insane. He began to say if he was the bad guy, and if he was to be the bad guy, then he would be a villain. Tommy, are we the yeah. bad guys? Because, I mean, we were the- we, we just kind of made ourselves the leaders, and then we had a vote, and he won in a coalition government, which was completely legal, and now we're trying to overthrow him. This- uh, it feels like we're the bad guys, Tommy. This doesn't feel correct. Tommy, am I a villain in this story? Tommy had then VC'd Tubbo, and they would talk about Wilbur's insanity. And they would talk where their loyalties truly lie. They then agreed both only to trust each other. Tubbo then revealed that he had somehow received the last of the music discs, which would lead to no leverage being put on them, and they both stated that they could leave. However, they both decided to stay for the good of their selective countries. 
and they agreed to trust no one except each other. First day. Okay, in Locked. that case, there's something I also have to give you real quick. I need you to take this one. Wait, what's that? The unoriginal J-Schlat one. Oh, okay, thanks. Keep it though, Turbo. I will, I will, I put it in my ender chest. How many more left do we have to get back? Only one, right? Only cat. Uh, we have, I think, well, I thought I had Malahai this whole time. No, I have Malahai. Yeah, but how do you know? Turbo, we don't, Wilbur's, I don't, okay, don't say this to him, but what, why, why has he traded those discs? Why would he, when we lost the war, not give me back the real disc? That doesn't make because any he sense. Wants power over you. But that doesn't, that just. He was not president. I'm 90% sure it is. No, because Dream has the real cap. I no, Bad Boy Halo has the real cap. I don't think he does. Why do you not think he does? Well, it's just, it seems to be a bit of a coincidence that I acquired now all three of the legitimate discs. So you have all the discs? I believe so, yes. So, sit with me, Tabo. Right now, and I, I don't think we can trust Wilbur anymore. He's Are still, sure? he might, he might snap out of it. But right now, Tabo, he wants to make the festival the worst day of everyone in Manberg's life. But it's going to be great. Tabo, it's not going to be great. No matter what happens, that you know festival. How much lettuce there's going to be? Tabo, that festival is not going to be great. Are you sure? Now and call it a day, but don't the upper hand. So remember that. I feel like Shakespeare. That, yeah. Who is? The upper hand. So remember that. This is the first time I've had an item of items, three items. You have all. You have. This would start the Wilbur Soot villain arc. Jay Schlatt at that time, on October eighth, decided that he would hold a festival in Manberg, and Wilbur Soot, in his new insanity, stated that if he can't have a Manberg, then nobody can. Let's let's blow that motherfucker to smithereens. Let's blow the whole well, are you, thing Wilbur, up. Are you, are you thinking? Are you? Are you? Tommy, thinking? I say if we can't have Manberg, no one, no one can have Manberg. No, Wilbur, I, I think. I, I think, see I think this. We can do this. I think we can take it back. Because I, think it, I think this we, I think is an era. This is a new era. We burn the place to the fucking ground. I want no. And he had planned to rig the entire place with TNT. This came with the assistance of Dream, which would lead to people wondering where Dream's loyalties really lie. I know you're confused. I know. The storyline is about as confusing as like an Alabama like family tree, but besides that, I'm going to try my best to explain it for you. So, here's how it currently stands. Wilbur Soot is doing a villain arc. Tommy Innit is doing a sort of rebellion arc. Jinshla is doing a redemption arc, and the Eret is doing his redemption arc. That is how it currently stands. I, I don't really know, but that's just how it currently stands. <coughs> oh, oh yeah, the Lemanberg Festival. Uh, I, I, I actually didn't, a lot of stuff happened yesterday, and I actually didn't, you know, have time to, to write another script, because it's like, because my stuff is like a, a, a good week afterwards, so uh, that video will come out in probably a week when I when I get around to script writing. So uh, see ya.